Hi, welcome to the second lecture of the first module of the course CS466 Data Science. Today we will be dealing with stages of a data science project. There are, main, there are mainly six stages in a data science project. As you can see in the figure given, this shows the life cycle of a data science project and it has loops within loops. What it suggests is that the activities of one stage will often overlap those of other stages. So we'll have to loop back and forth between two or more stages before moving forward in the overall process. Let us move on to each stage. The first stage is defining the goal. We have to start by defining the precise goal of the project. The goal should be specific and measurable. The goal is to come up with a candidate hypothesis, which can then be turned into concrete questions or goals for a full-scale modeling project. The next stage is data collection and management. It is one of the most important steps, but it is also the most time-consuming step. In this stage, we identify the data, explore it and condition it. So we have to conduct initial exploration and visualization of the data. We will also have to clean the data, repair data errors and transform variables. This is an example of visualization of data. The next stage is modeling. Some common mo data science modeling tasks are classification, scoring, ranking, and clustering. Classification is deciding if something belongs to one category or another. Scoring is predicting a numeric value such as a price or probability. Ranking is learning to order items by preferences and clustering is grouping items into most similar groups. This is an example of a classification model, decision tree. The next stage is model evaluation and critique. Once we have a model, we have to determine if it meets our goals. Is it accurate enough? Does it generalize well? Does it perform better? Do the results make sense in the context of the problem, etc. One way in which we can do this is by using a confusion matrix. So here we have a confusion matrix of the good loan and bad loan. The diagonal entries represent the correct predictions. Overall accuracy is not enough. So we have other measurements called recall measures, precision measures and false positive rate. Recall is how many of the bad loans the model can actually find. Precision measures how many of the loans identified as bad really are bad. False positive rate measures how many of the good loans are mistakenly identified as bad. The next stage is the presentation and documentation. Once we have a model that meets our success criteria, we have to present these results to the project sponsor and other stakeholders. We also have to document the model for those who are responsible for using, running and maintaining the model once it is de deployed in the organization. Different audiences require different kinds of information. This is an example of an executed presentation. The last stage is model deployment and maintenance. We have to make sure that the model can be updated as its environment changes. In many situations, the model will initially be deployed in a small pilot program. The test brings out issues that you didn't anticipate and we have to adjust the model accordingly.